Hi, my name is Johnny Lee, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a video chat robot. Video chatting with programs like Skype are really great for keeping in touch with people that might be far away. But one of the problems is that if they move around too much or get up and walk away, you're kind of just stuck there waiting for them to come back. You can't turn the camera or move around. So what a video chat robot does is allow you to actually control the camera and drive around as if you're walking around the other side. So these are sometimes called telepresence robots and sometimes cost thousands of dollars. So what I'm going to show you is how to make one for around $500. There are two main hardware pieces to this project. The first is the iRobot Create, which is a relatively inexpensive educational robot that you can buy for around $250. And that includes the rechargeable battery and the charger. What this does is it allows you to drive around the house a little bit like the Roomba vacuum cleaner, just without the vacuum part. Now the second part is of course the netbook that's on top. Now any netbook that you have that can do video chat will work for this project, and this is one I happen to get for $250. You can also see in my setup I've made a stand to prop the laptop up, so it's about seated height. Now this is of course optional, you can put the netbook right on top of the base and everything will work just fine. But if you really want to make a stand, you can probably do something adequate with a few pieces of light wood. The netbook communicates with the base using a USB serial cable that goes directly to the robot, which sends commands to the motors. This is a cable you can buy on the iRobot website. You can also see that I put the AC power adapters in this bay and connected it to this extension cable so that I can charge both the robot and the netbook using one connection. For software, I'm using Skype for the video chat, and then the second piece of software that I wrote that allows me to send or receive drive commands over the network for the robot. This is what allows me to do the remote control capability. You can also see I put a wide angle lens on the netbook camera so I have a bigger field of view to see more of the room on the other side. Once I have the software running on the netbook and the software running on my laptop talking to each other, I can use my keyboard right here to drive the robot around the room. One unfortunate thing about having to use an extension cable to charge the robot and the netbook is that you're going to have to have someone on the other side help unplug or plug you in every time you want to stop or start using the robot. On the other hand, I made a modification to my charging base that allows me to dock the robot and self-charge it whenever I want and also disconnect without anyone's help. To dock the robot for self-charging, I simply hit this dock button in the software, which will use the iRobot Create's built-in homing command to find the base station. To regain control of the robot, I simply hit connect to remote robot, and then click on keyboard control, and now I can undock the robot and drive it around. The amount of time the robot can operate will largely depend on the kind of netbook that you get. And of course the bad network connection is going to affect how well you can drive. But if you want to give it a try, you can find more information on my website about installing and running the software, as well as modifications I did to the docking station so that it would charge both the robot and the netbook. Thanks for watching.